On the southern edge of these highlands, towering spires give way to grassy moorlands, home to the rarest of all African predators, Ethiopian wolves. Like their European ancestors, Ethiopian wolves patrol vast territories and live in tight family groups. But otherwise, they're quite different. Small and fine-featured, they've given up chasing large animals in packs. There isn't the prey here to do that. Instead, they hunt alone. These grassy moorlands teem with more than a dozen types of rodent. Ethiopian wolves have evolved to become specialist rat catchers. Nimble legs, sensitive ears and a narrow muzzle are the tools of their trade. Small grass rats make up most of the wolves' diet. But on these mountain plateaus, there's a far greater prize. A rodent ten times bigger, ten times more nervous. The giant mole rat. Mole rats are afraid to leave their burrows. Like periscopes, they scan for danger as they feed sometimes with the help of watchful hill chats, gathering insects from around the rat's dung piles. Even so, mole rats are up against an expert. The alarm goes off, but the wolf is patient. There's no shortage of food up here. Rat infested hardly begins to describe a place where there are two tons of rats to each square kilometer. At the den, the pups eagerly anticipate the returning adults. Hunters are endlessly mobbed until they cough up the goods. This might seem like wolf paradise, but these specialized mountain predators face an uncertain future. The cold alpine tundra in which their ancestors evolved and on which these wolves now entirely depend is ever so slowly vanishing. The African climate is getting warmer, the Ethiopian highlands steadily wearing away. The remaining 1,000 wolves are truly marooned on the roof of Africa.